are looking around Mesa a little bit and we have been recommended a, a suburb of the suburb called Chandler, so we're heading there. Around here, they decorate the roads with um, sort of southwestern abstract art. It's quite nice. We are in Chandler. It has a Whole Foods, meaning it's posh. Th this place is covered in palm trees. Now, I didn't think palm trees were native to here. Um, I think they've planted them. Oh, they're native. Yes, yes, that, that is something you do see in Arizona. There are cactuses dotted around the city. It's all very light, sandy colours. Yeah, once again, look, everyone's lawn is covered in stones because they can't afford grass, but they can have these giant cactuses. This house has a lawn, which we were told is very, very expensive. It's quite easy to navigate here. Arizona is the Safeway state. This is good because they make the best curry sauce we found in the entire country. We've just passed them dozens of communities. There's one as well. It's a show home. This one's called the Quail. This must be all on the ground floor. So this is a kid's bedroom. And what's this kid into? Space. There's a walk-in closet. Here is the bedroom of his imaginary sister. She likes butterflies and flowers. And the colour orange. Shared bathroom, a shower, small dining area, an office, another bathroom, place to watch television, the kitchen with gas, and another dining area. We're still on the ground floor. This has multiple sinks, it has a deep, nice bath. It's got the shower area that's quite big as well. The toilet's in its own little room. There's a big walk-in closet. And then it comes out to a laundry room. Outside has a shaded area, and then there's the garden. And all this grass is fake. Yeah, it's all right. I don't think it was as big as the one in San Antonio. And that was the Quail House. There's a second house called the Road Runner, which looks like this. The walls are made of... Stucco? There's a little area just in the door, and a dining table under the stairs. Shaded outdoor space. This has three dining areas. A big kitchen. Television area and an office. There's a barbecue, a nice shaded outdoor area. And this looks like, is this a swimming pool? Well, it could be made to be, yeah. What do you think, Jess? I think this is a lovely yard. Yeah. Going upstairs, patio, media area. I think this is the master bedroom. And it's playing some Spanish music. Here are the imaginary couple and they are into Books, small boats, and going to the beach. They're a lovely couple, really. And this is the bathroom, which is quite good. It's enormous. Look at that shower head. Yeah. It's just. Sounds the wall. Yeah. This is the laundry room. Which is sensible to have upstairs, seeing the things that you launder the most are clothes. There's a fictional child's room. I think this is a little girl, and she likes the colour blue. Is that her there? So. Is that the same mum as was <laughs> in the in the other place? Is this the gender stereotype boys' room? This little boy has a pretend iPad. Ooh. It's just a bit of plastic. It's like a placemat. He goes to school because he has all these notebooks. He really likes biking because he's decided to mount his bike on his wall. Yes, that looks com completely <laughs> odd. <laughs> That's not what you do, really. He's also into motorbikes, but he's not allowed one until he gets a job. He's also into skateboarding. And he has one shirt. I think there's one more little girl. I think oh. She's a bit younger, but she's yeah. already into Paris. That's nice. It's really weird, these fake families they put in. I think they flesh this child out far less than the other. She doesn't really seem to have a lot of interest here. That's from Walmart. <laughs> it is. Upstairs bathroom, and there's me holding a selfie stick. So the previous house, the Quail, was 320-something, um, and this is 370-something. And that was the Roadrunner house. What's it like living in the Phoenix area? There's a lot of jobs here. There's, in fact, a lot of people moving from other states here. Yeah. Not a lot of the tech companies are bringing a lot of people in. Intel brings a lot of people. PayPal has a big office that they're building here. So Arizona is one of the top states as far as like job growth, population growth, healthy real estate markets. What about things like city taxes? It's much less expensive to live here. Taxes are a lot lower. You can drive three hours north and hit snow. You can drive six hours and be in San Diego. It's nice. Okay. As far as bugs go, we're pretty low on the bug It sounds like the only pest is the scorpion. But she said they don't really get coyotes in town. Yeah, she didn't have any sad stories about pets who, who went a bad way, so that's a good thing. Mm.